We're at the Divergent Factory in Torrance, California. It's the world's first uh, universal constructor for vehicles. What that really means is that we've built a complete system that uh, is a little bit like the Star Trek replicator. What you're doing is having a design team choose a set of vehicle attributes. That vehicle could be anything from uh, an autonomous land, air, or sea drone, or it could be a two-seat hypercar like the 21C. That team designs uh, its attributes, meaning it chooses what its occupants are going to be, it chooses what its performance is going to be, what its component specs need to be. The machine then takes that set of requirements, generates a structure that is perfectly optimized. So what perfect optimization means is that against a set of engineering requirements like strength, durability, crash, the machine will, uh, in its processing and simulation cycles, add and subtract material until you have a perfect structure that meets all the requirements in three dimensions. We then send that data to our printers where it's printed with the right materials and materials that we've designed. And then those Lego blocks get taken here by uh, a mobile robot. And this cell is a universal assembler, meaning a robot can come up with a set of assembly blocks for an autonomous sub, and this uh, assembly cell will start to assemble those blocks. It can roll up with a hypercar, and the cell will assemble those blocks. So it's data, different data in, different structures out, but the hardware and software that designs, prints, and assembles stays the same. It's really what the creative team decides it wants to create, what its requirements are. The machine then takes that and turns it into a physical structure. That process from end to end has never taken place before on this planet. And this factory is the first step in transforming the global industrial base from the typewriter era of manufacturing to Mac desktop publishing.